Russia's next-generation airliner, the MC-21, has reached unprecedented limits in its latest phase of the program. In recent months, prototypes have been subjected to some of the most rigorous test regimens in the aircraft's history, including the navigation of mountain ranges, the skimming of water at low altitudes, and the endurance of simulated lightning strikes and turbulence. This stage is not about spectacle, it is about survival. Every test flight writes the safety manual for the years ahead. Flight engineers concentrated on verifying the aircraft's real-world control logic and resilience. To ensure stability under stress, fly-by-wire responses were tuned, radar altimeters were verified across a range of altitudes, and inertial navigation systems were recalibrated. Each sortie brings the MC-21 closer to complete certification and confirms that Russia's most advanced passenger jet is capable of operating in the world's most challenging skies. A huge production effort, which currently includes thousands of suppliers throughout Russia, is hidden behind those test flights. The PD-14 engines from Perm, hydraulic assemblies from Kazan, avionics harnesses from Voronezh, and composite panels from Ulyanovsk all merge in Irkutsk, where final assembly is conducted. The program's transition to complete self-reliance has necessitated a national realignment of production. The MC-21's every fastener and circuit are now supplied by former subcontractors for Western firms that have been retooled. Engineers, machinists, and inspectors rotate between facilities in a coordinated manner to guarantee that the standards adhere to the requirements of serial production. It is not merely an aircraft, it is a nationwide production line that is currently in operation. The MC-21 has united regions under a single industrial objective, serving as both a technical challenge and an economic lifeline for many factories. As the aircraft approaches certification, the focus is shifting to the airline, which will introduce it into commercial service. Aeroflot, the flag carrier, has already devised a strategy to incorporate over 100 MC-21s into its fleet by the year 2030, designating the type as the foundation of its medium-haul operations. The airline's dedication practically guarantees the volume of serial production and solidifies the MC-21 as an integral part of Russia's domestic network strategy. Alrosa, a regional carrier that is renowned for its ability to connect remote Siberian and Arctic communities, also announced its intention to restock its fleet with Russian-made aircraft, specifically the MC-21. The aircraft is a significant improvement in terms of maintenance autonomy, range, and comfort for Alrosa. According to industry observers, the aircraft may be adopted by low-cost operators like Pobeda later in the decade after its operational metrics have been demonstrated in daily service. Aeroflot's order serves as the foundation for production. Regional carriers will guarantee that it remains an active component of the Russian sky. The PD-14 engine, Russia's first indigenous high-bypass turbofan in decades, is the essence of the aircraft's new existence. The replacement of imported power plants necessitated the rewriting of substantial portions of the MC-21's technical structure, including electronics and fuel systems. However, it also liberated the program from the volatility of foreign currencies and supply chains. The PD-14's introduction has become the defining feature of the fully domestic MC-21 variant which is anticipated to dominate production from the year 2026 onward. In comparison to older Russian engines, engineers have reported that the thrust profiles are smoother, the maintenance interfaces are simplified, and there is a substantial increase in fuel burn efficiency. This aircraft is politically and technologically unstoppable because every turbine blade and sensor is now produced domestically. Several variants are possible due to the MC-21's modular construction, with the current MC-21-300 and MC-21-310 serving as the nucleus. Extended domestic routes and selective international service are the focus of discussions regarding longer-range models.
The jet guarantees both efficiency and comfort, as it boasts a wider fuselage than its Western counterparts and advanced composite wings. A silent revolution in Russian aerospace manufacturing is taking place within the Irkutsk assembly lines, where digital tooling and laser-based quality checks have replaced numerous manual operations. The rhythms of large-scale production are now being learned by workers who previously constructed aircraft in small quantities. Although progress has been made, obstacles persist. Even a wholly domestic aircraft must demonstrate its reliability over thousands of flight hours, as certification timelines are constrained. Another obstacle is the maintenance of consistent quality across the extensive supplier network. Each fastener and connector must adhere to international aviation standards. However, the trajectory of progress remains unquestionable. Each flight test, each batch of PD-14 engines, and each new supplier certification brings Russia closer to its objective of establishing a civil airliner industry that is genuinely autonomous. As you tour an MS-21 assembly hall, you will observe more than just machinery. You will witness a representation of the nation's industry in motion. Engineers from Siberia, welders from Tatarstan, and composite technicians from Moscow, all operating under a single program. The MC-21 is a unique undertaking that unites an entire nation through production rather than policy. The aircraft's symbolism has expanded beyond engineering as it approaches airline service. It is now a metric that assesses the speed at which a nation can reorganize itself in the event that the world closes its doors. By the end of the decade, the skies of Russia may be occupied by MC-21s that are embossed with the logos of Aeroflot, Alrosa, and possibly other unidentified entities. Each flight will be more than a mere commercial journey. It will serve as a significant milestone in the pursuit of industrial independence, technological persistence, and the enduring conviction that national aviation can still dream large. The MC-21's narrative is just commencing. It has been tested by fire, constructed by thousands, and flown by a nation. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us